Hey guys, welcome to Gunning for Life. I'm Jaron Perry. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about my competition that I did um, last week, which was the 2018 Barry Steel Open. Tons of fun, guys. 20 stages over two days, um, 10 each day, and it was a blast. Had a lot of fun representing Team Canic Fanatic. Um, today, I'm just going to talk about the goods and bads of my shooting. What I noticed I didn't do so well with and what I noticed I did well with. Um. So the first stage is called Exterior Bounds. It's a five string stage. You can pause and read the directions, but basically you have to shoot the blue targets from the blue box and, the, and then the yellow targets from the yellow box um, and then the stop plate last. I did three strings here and then I did two strings going from right to the middle. Touch left, hey, looks like. Touch left. Shooter, you ready? Stand by. Oh, okay, <laughs> I guess it's... <laughs> oh, all right. It's on for Jaren. Everything's good now. So basically what my buddies were talking about there was I was having problems with my red dot throughout the whole competition. My screws... One of my screws was stripped, so it was getting loose every time I went and shot. I didn't realize it until this stage, so I adjusted it blindly, and I didn't know if it was on or not until I started shooting the stage. Um, and uh, it actually was shooting right on, so they were telling me that I did a pretty good job at readjusting it. Um, some cons here. Um, I was anticipating my shots, and I was rushing my shots, so I made some careless mistakes and some careless misses. Um, I was also trying to run to the next target before I had actually um, cleared out the previous one. Some good things is I felt like my stance was okay um, and uh, my adjustment actually made a good difference on this stage. This is stage two. It's called Traffic Circle. You can pause here if you want to read the directions, but it's pretty straightforward. It's the four best of five uh, runs on this stage. And you have to shoot um, in any order, but you have to end on that red stop plate. Now, I chose to shoot from right to left. I would shoot the right three and then the left two ending on the stop plate. Um, some things I didn't do so well. Um, as you can see, as I continue here, I'm missing several times on these runs. And um, it took some valuable time away from me. I was anticipating shots, so I would push forward expecting the recoil and that would dip my muzzle downward as a result I would miss. Um, I also sometimes rushed myself because I was trying to go a little faster and so as you saw there I missed um, and I was already heading towards the other target. What I was doing well, um, I didn't have to move so my stance was pretty good. I felt like I felt like my draw, draw was pretty clean um, and I did have some really good hits on these targets. Um, I just need to be more consistent on my shots. Last string. You make change. You want to do something? There we go. All right. Sure, you're ready. Stand by. Four, seven, nine. Unload, show clear. Okay, guys. Stage three. It's called thread the needle. You can pause this next picture and read. Basically, what I chose to do is run to box B in the very beginning, and I have to shoot across the stage at a yellow popper, and that had to be hit first. And then next, I had to hit the other yellow target when I ran to box B, and you have to shoot it twice before you could move on to any other targets. Once I did, um, I was missing more than I should be. I was rushing myself and trying to go fast and make up time. As a result, I didn't hit my reload. So right here, I came into this okay, and then, uh-oh, didn't hit my reload, and I have a problem with my thumb hitting the slide stop. On this next section, I actually planned this out. I planned to hit the big poppers at certain times so that they would fall, and I would still have other targets to hit and not have to wait for them to fall. I was pretty proud of myself there. Here, I was thinking, I need to reload at some point. Um, and then right there I had a problem um, and I had to eject around and I also dipped my handgun down which shows that I was anticipating my shots. I almost went for a reload twice and I didn't for whatever reason so I missed my reload and ran dry. That was again poor planning on my part.
Stage four is called should have been a shotgun stage. Um, the important thing about this is there's a uh, spinner in the middle. I'll have to explain that in a little bit. Basically, you shoot each color from its respect from the respective box um, that's color coordinated. And I chose to go red, blue, green, then yellow. Now, in the middle, there's a spinner, and you could choose to shoot the spinner from the respective boxes that you need to in order to spin it. But what I was seeing was a lot of people really messed up on shooting the spinner and it just wasted time and bullets. And since this stage was timed, it was part time um, for 30 seconds, I was just going to rush through and clear out as many targets as I possibly could. Now I'm going to show this for you one more time and give you an explanation of how well my plan worked out. So here, my first couple of shots were bad and it set the pace. So I really need to work on hitting my first shots better. Um, went to the blue, same problem. Now what you'll notice over here when I get to green is there'll be a time when I have to reload, I miss my reload, and then my gun dips down. That's because I'm anticipating the shot, right? Right after this, I think. There, my hand goes down. I was anticipating, so I'm still anticipating my shots. I need to work on my technique. And then here I ran out of time. I should never have gone for the clay pigeon. Um, which were worth five points. I should have just left it and cleared out some more yellows. Okay, this is stage five. It was the first stage I shot in the day. It's called the challenge. You can read the directions. Basically, I shot a stage very similar to this a couple weeks before, so I was pretty ready on what I was going to do. The yellow targets, you had to shoot twice, everything else once. Um, and I did okay, but there were a lot of misses. Um, coming up here, I should have hit all of these in one shot, and I missed with, uh, a few of them. Now, I was doing okay on rounds, but my misses here um, started racking up, and I went for the reload, and my gun had to be racked. Here, I also messed up because I should have shot these on the uh, like while walking. Um, they're big enough I could have done that. I kept making some misses and I wasn't paying attention to round count so I had to make another um, reload that I didn't really expect it slowed me down and I was very frustrated especially with it being the first uh, stage of the day you finished unload show clear clear hammer down Hold it. thanks for watching guys um, please like and subscribe and I hope you have a great day Thank you.